Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing another concealer for concealer week and we are gonna be talking about the Bobbi Brown Instant Full Coverage Concealer. I have it in the shade Cool Sand. So if you're interested in seeing me apply this, do a full day wear test and give you my thoughts at the end of the day, then just keep on watching. So let me start by giving you a little bit of background on my skin and how I do these concealer reviews if this is the first uh, video of mine that you're watching. So I am 44, going on 45 very soon. I have very dry, sensitive skin. My under eye area has fine lines. I don't necessarily deal a lot with um, like the bluish purple kind of dark circles under my eyes, but I do deal with kind of a general sallowness around my um, eye area. I deal with a little bit of puffiness and fine lines. I think I said that. So that's what we're dealing with. And how I do these concealer reviews is I will generally um, apply it to one eye then I'll apply it to the other. We'll do like comparisons and then I will only powder one eye just to kind of see how they wear. And what else? So right now I've uh, washed and moisturized my face. I haven't put any primer down, I've just put foundation down and I've been trying to use foundations that have like a light to medium coverage just so I think we can better tell what the concealer does. I feel like if we use too heavy of a coverage in foundation, you can't really tell like what's the foundation and what's the concealer. So today I've put on the Shantikai Just Skin Tinted Moisturizer. This has like a nice light medium um, buildable coverage, but I've only put one kind of light layer down all over my face. And so you can still definitely see a lot of the imperfections around my eyes. You can still see even like the little bit of sallowness that I have around my eye area. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Let's take a look at this concealer now. So I haven't even taken it out of the box. I did actually purchase this at the counter. So the shade should be right. And again, I am using Cool Sand. So this is the instant full cover concealer. It comes in the clear tube. It has a doe foot applicator. And let me just swatch some on the back of my hand so you guys can get a sense of the shade. Sorry, I think you guys could see my microphone in like this corner part of the frame. So I just adjusted it. Hopefully you can still hear me okay. Anyway, so I just swatched a little bit onto the back of my hand here and we're just gonna spread it out a little bit. This concealer definitely feels, and if I recall from um, the counter, it definitely feels a little bit thicker than what I am used to. It's definitely thicker than the Kogendo that I just uh, reviewed. It's probably uh, the most similar to the Guerlain. It has like kind of a, a thicker, tackier kind of texture. So usually with thicker, tackier concealers, I like to put it onto the back of my hand and then use a brush and kind of dab it on because I find it's very difficult to kind of just swipe it on and then blend it out nicely. And then I always feel like, I don't know, I don't, I don't, I didn't put on like the right amount. So anyway, that's what I'm gonna try first, at least on this eye. All right, so I've been using my favorite concealer brush lately. This is the Sigma Precision Round P82 brush. Whoa, P82 brush. It's the one with the um, dome top. And I'm just gonna pick up some from the back of my hand and start to dab it along my under eye. The color of this particular concealer has a little bit of peach in there, so it does a little bit of that color correcting, which is nice. And I really didn't put that much on the back of my hand, so this definitely seems like a little bit goes a long way. I feel like I'm able to really <laughs> spread it all the way out here. It's definitely a uh, brightening kind of color for me. Yeah, so I just used the littlest amount. I still have that much left on the back of my hand and a little bit goes a long way for this concealer for sure. All right, so there it is applied to this eye. This is without. So I think it's done a very, very nice job covering. I think it's done a really nice job camouflaging the kind of sallow coloring that I have around my eyes. So I think that's really great. It definitely has a bit of that kind of like tacky feeling to it. Well, let's give it a little bit more time and see if it kind of sets down a little bit more. Um, I think what I'm gonna try, usually I would go ahead and try it with my finger, but again, I think this formula is a little bit thick and tacky for that. So I'm gonna try my um, sponge here. This is the Sonia Kashuk sponge that I love. And I just used it to apply my foundation, so it's still a little bit damp. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dab a little bit right underneath my eye. Again, not too much because I think this concealer goes a long way. So I'm just gonna do that. And I'm gonna take my foundation-free part of the sponge and start to work that in. 
Well, the sponge looks like it's uh, definitely soaking up a lot of the product. I think I'm gonna go in with a couple more dots there. There, now I think we have a similar coverage between the sponge and the brush side. Mm, maybe even a little bit more. So the sponge definitely soaks up quite a bit of product. If that bugs you, then I would go the brush route. But let's see the finish on these both. So this side that I applied first, it already looks like it's creasing a bit on my eyelid. I'm gonna zoom in here and see if you guys can see, but it looks like it's creasing on these like little folds that I have on the inside portion of my lid here. So I think this is definitely one that needs to be set down with powder. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna bother with the one eye without, one eye with. If I already know at this point, it's been like maybe, maybe five minutes. Um, if I know at this point that I need to set it down, then I will go ahead and do so. I think I like the sponge application a little bit more. I feel like it looks a little bit um, chunky over here. So I'm gonna try and work that in a little bit more. I don't know if it's because I applied the side first, maybe it's gonna happen to this side, but as I work the side in, we'll keep an eye on this side and see what happens. All right, it's been a couple minutes and this side still looks pretty good. So I think working it in with the sponge, maybe the little bit of water in the sponge, maybe helped like the texture of the concealer a little bit because it is um, on the thicker side. This side I feel like just looks a little bit like too thick, like you can see it kind of sitting on my skin. I don't really like that. I don't know. I don't know if anyone does like that, but I don't really, I don't really like that. All right, so so far the consensus is sponge side is better than brush and it looks like we're gonna have to set it down with some powder. So let me go ahead and grab some loose powder to set this down and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm gonna use my uh, Chanel Universal Powder in 20 Claire. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some, I've got my Chikahoto Z1 brush here and I'm gonna pick up just the slightest bit. I don't like over powdering. It makes me look very, very dry. So I just picked up that much and I'm gonna go ahead and pounce that right onto the eye area brush away any excess. Ah, I think that looks much better. Much better. I'll do a close up here. So this is powdered, this is unpowdered. I feel like the powdered side looks much better, looks much more seamless. I don't think I have felt that strongly about powder versus non-powder with any of the other concealers we've talked about yet, but this one I feel like is a clear, you need to powder. All right, so let me go ahead and powder the other side. Take another close look. Oh yeah, that looks, that looks great. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that looks great. I always feel so obnoxious saying that, but I think it looks pretty great. Um, so let's do some close-ups here. You guys can see it now that it's been set down with some loose powder. I think it looks really nice. I don't feel like um, it's doing anything weird with my under eyes. Um, I think it's done a nice job covering. I feel like now that I've powdered it, any of that creasing, well, I, you know, I kind of sponged it out, but any of that creasing is sort of kept at bay. My eyebrows are so jacked up today. I think I just slept on them really weird. But this one looks like nuts. This one looks crazy. This one looks like it went out and got a perm last night. All right, so I am gonna go about my day. I'll put on some more makeup and I will be back uh, early afternoon to, oh, it's like, God, I always forget. It is about nine o'clock in the morning right now. So I'll be back in the early afternoon to give you my first check-in and see where we are with this concealer at that point and I will see you then. Hey guys, it is about one o'clock in the afternoon, so it's been about four hours since I put on this makeup. Let's take a close look at what is going on with this concealer. I did end up putting um, eyeshadow on my upper lid, so let's just focus on what's going on down here. All right, this concealer is looking really good. I'm gonna do some close-ups here. Uh, but I powdered both eyes because I felt like I could already see that it was creasing up. Usually when I do tests, I like to just powder one side, leave one side unpowdered just to kind of compare. But if I see that it's already creasing, I just go ahead and powder because what's the point? So I think that this is definitely a concealer that you want to powder. I think it's looking really good. Can I just say, I feel like I'm having the best luck with these concealers. I think this is the fifth one I'm testing and I like them all. I think they're all really different. And of course I'll do like a concealer week wrap up when we're all done, but I've come across some really, really bad concealers. And so far I feel like all the concealers I've tried have been really, really good. This one, 
I don't feel like it looks dry. I feel like it took the powder really nicely. It went on really easily with the sponge or with the brush. I am impressed. So usually I like to do my final check-in at around like dinner time. So I get at least kind of like a seven, eight hour wear, but I'm actually gonna be out today and then out for dinner. So my check-in is gonna be pretty late tonight. So that's actually gonna be really good, but I will see you later on tonight. Hey guys, I'm back. It is about 7.30 in the evening. I am actually back home a little bit earlier than I thought I would be, which is just fine by me because I'm already tired. So I've had this makeup on for about 10 and a half hours. And now that I'm looking at my under eye area after 10 and a half hours, I am seeing that my um, fine lines are kind of poking through. Not really a surprise after 10 and a half hours. That's a really long time. And I have been in and out and I've been running around quite a bit today. And it's, it's weird. I feel like it's a little bit worse on my right eye than it is my left eye. Not really sure why that is the case, but I feel like the coverage is there. I feel like it hasn't faded. I think it's done a really good job still kind of camouflaging this area. I don't see any creasing. I did put eyeshadow on. Um, I don't see any creasing though around my um, eyes. I don't feel like it's separated or migrated or done anything weird. I just think that my fine lines are kind of just rearing their ugly heads. So I'll do some close-ups here so you can take a look at my eye area. And so while I think you can see my fine lines, I don't think that they're necessarily emphasized, which is great. I don't think that that... I also don't think that my under eyes necessarily look dry either. I just feel like they're kind of poking their way through. All in all, I feel like this concealer is really good too. I don't know if I mentioned this maybe at the beginning of this video or yesterday's concealer, but I feel like I'm having such good luck with concealers with the ones that I've picked so far because I am very, very picky when it comes to concealer. And if you guys watched my um, top five Tuesdays of worst products, two out of the five were concealers. And I probably could have made my five worst concealer video, which actually that may, if you guys would be interested in that, please let me know down below. Uh, because I think when a concealer is bad, it's, it's like really bad. It like ruins your entire face of makeup. It, ru it ruins my day. You just think like, oh my God, like I look like absolute shit. But I really have had amazing luck. So the La Prairie, the Guerlain, the Cogendo, this one, uh, what's the other one I tested? The La Mer stick foundation, which I think got bad reviews. That worked out well for me too. So I'm, I don't know. I'm just, I'm having a great time with concealer. And to top it all off, I have been premenstrual and that is when my skin looks its absolute worst. So this is actually a great time to be testing something like this because it's not gonna get any worse than this. So I am really, really impressed. All right, so that was the Bobbi Brown Instant Full Cover Concealer and we're loving it. And I got it in the color Cool Sand. All the information will be down below in the description box as it always is. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please comment down below if you've used this, what your experience was with this particular concealer. If you uh, enjoyed it, if it didn't work for you, I really want to hear, you know, what your skin type was. Let's share the information and subscribe down below if you haven't already. I will see you in my next video.